hi guys um okay so it's friday and i've just got back from epac the early pregnancy acute unit or epu the early pregnancy unit so it's just after 12 30 now i was i had an appointment at 20 to 12 and i'll just talk you through it so this morning i've had medium flow bleeding in the night i only changed again my pad once and no more tissues come out of me i'm just feeling um like i'm having a period now and my emotions were really high yesterday and the day before but i'm not super emotional anymore i'm sort of coming to terms with it's a miscarriage and this morning i got up had a shower changed all my pads I haven't leaked anywhere it was just an i'd say like i said before it was like day one of my period so yeah, I had my friend, was really sweet, the one with the newborn baby, she drove me up to the early pregnancy unit. I had a pregnancy appointment at 20 to 12 and honestly, it's horrible up there because you obviously see your lovely people all pregnant, queuing up to give their notes in and all happy and oh, it, it's lovely that bit. But then where we were, it was like two couples, one had just come out crying her heart out with her husband's arms wrapped around her and I thought... I've been there, I was there seven years ago. I know that poor lady would have gone today probably thinking, I'm gonna be able to tell my folks today that I'm having a baby and my friends and, oh, your dreams shattered in a heartbeat. And then we sat down and waited. Kate and I were just going through little scenarios that we've been through and I said, you sort of grasp, you know you've miscarried, you know you've miscarried. I've got the photo on my phone that I was gonna show them, I've been bleeding. I said, but you sort of think, they might say, hang on, I don't know what you've miscarried, that actually is a heartbeat, or it was a twin. Now, although I was 99.9% .9 of miscarried, I held on to, I don't want infections, I don't wanna have passed just a little bit of tissue and there's some left inside me. I wanna get clean and healthy so that I can TTC ASAP. So you, I knew I was miscarrying, but that's what you have in you. You don't want any tissue left inside you. You want to be clean and sorted if there's no baby. So we're sat there talking like this and then there's another couple sat beside us crying and I just felt, I feel a bit like I don't want to be here. Am I wasting their time? And my friend Kate's like, Ingrid, you're going through a miscarriage. You know, you've got to see what's happening. You don't know whether... You don't know whether it's all gone smoothly. You don't know. So just don't feel guilty. Just go in there and be seen. So I went in there and there was two ladies, the sonographer and a nurse. And they were like, okay, hi. And I was like, hello. I said, I'm pretty sure I've miscarried. And they went, okay, well, we're going to have to look at your tummy. I went, well, I've bled quite a lot. And they were like, we've got to see your tummy first. It's quite to the point. I was like, okay. Took my cardi off and my top, you know, lifted my top up. And she was like, yeah, as we thought, there's nothing there. And I was a bit like, I just felt perhaps it's because there's so many other people there that's having different and more serious issues perhaps, but, or perhaps I'm super sensitive. And then I was like, I didn't think there would be anything. She went, well, because I've seen nothing and you're saying you've had a pregnancy test, we've got to do an internal, but we've got to have our own pregnancy test now to, before we do that. So I was like, okay. So I had to go and pee in a cup. Nurse took a pregnancy test and I went back in and then she went, is that, is that a positive to the nurse? And the nurse went, very faint positive. I'm doing all the, like, speech. And she went, okay. And I said, look, if it's faint and there's a problem, I, I don't have to have an internal if you don't think it's a good idea. She went, we've got to do it now you've come here. This is what I'm saying. Midwives refer you, but sometimes it's best to sort of sit it out at home and wait and see what happens and do a pregnancy test two weeks after. And I went, I know, but my midwife... I didn't want to say my midwife's a friend and she was being compassionate and knew how much grief I was going through because I phoned the GP and the GP said to me, I can give you a referral, but I'm going to have to, the receptionist said, the GP can refer you, but you're going to have to wait all day for a phone call. And it was only the fact my friend said, I'm in the clinic all day. I'll put your referral in now while I've got five minutes. She wasn't breaking any rules. She knew that I had to be referred. It's just my midwife was doing it rather than my GP. So it made me feel, she was like, this is what I mean, midwives sort of refer you sometimes when there's nothing to see. And I'm thinking, don't, it got me a bit annoyed because I'm thinking, don't diss what the midwives are doing. She's come round to see me, yes, off the record as a friend to give me a hug, but what she was doing my referral was actually all above board. She was in her clinic and she knew that my GP was going to be keeping me waiting for four or five hours and I was heavy bleeding with no tissue passing and no pain. 
but I didn't say all this. I just went, oh, she referred because I was having no tissue passing, but bleeding a lot. And she knew that I'd be about seven weeks. And she went, but she doesn't know you're seven weeks because this miscarriage could have happened at any time if it's a miscarriage. And I went, yeah, I understand. She's like, I think they've probably got to do it. I don't know. But she was a bit cutting me down, feeling, oh, I was just like, can't you just say, let's do an internal and be a bit more soft? Anyway, had the internal probe up me. She glided it around, she went, as thought, this is what I'm seeing, and she put the screen to me, and it was just like a like a swoop of a, like a elongated white, like that shape, elongated tubey looking, and she went, that's telling me it's a nice clean, thin lining of a womb, and what you've seen is probably what you think it is. And I said, would you like to see a photo? I've got it on my phone of what I passed. And she went, no, we don't do any of that. But what I'm saying is, I think you know and I know it is what you think it is. And I went, what well, a miscarriage. And she went, we're not really allowed to say that. I've just got to put it as an, a pregnancy in an unknown place. We offer you blood tests now. And I just said, if it's looking all clean up there, I'm happy to do pregnancy tests at home to see if my HCG is going down. You know, no, I don't want to waste anyone's time taking bloods and having all that intervention if it's not needed. And she went, we can't tell you. You've got to make that decision. I'm telling you, yes. And she's sort of giving me the nod to say, I think you're right. She's sort of saying, I can't advise you what to do. You've got to make your own decision. We're just saying it's in an unknown place. But I'm telling you now, everything looks fine as she's gliding this thing. I said, well, I don't feel like I'm having an atopic pregnancy. I've not got severe pain on one side. I've not had a fever. Um, I don't feel passing out. I just feel like I'm having a heavy period and I've miscarried, but I was worried about infection predominantly. So anyway, she just basically said, well, everything looks fine, but we've got to now say there's a pregnancy in an unknown place and do a blood test. Or if you decline that, do it. we recommend you do pregnancy tests at home and you should have a negative within two weeks. But she said that was so faint, you should have one in a few days. And I'm like, okay, that's good enough for me. Thank you, I'll get dressed. And I started getting dressed. And then she said, I'll put that you've declined the, the blood test. And I said, that's fine. Um, and then I said, I did think I had a miscarriage. I was just very concerned, overly concerned about infection. And she's like, well, you've just got to now sit and wait, really, and let it pass. You've passed what you think is. And I said, and, but when she was doing that gliding of the probe, I need to know some feedback on this because I've just Googled it and I'm waiting for my friend to get back to me. She actually said, have you had any problems with your bowels? I went, no, I'm absolutely fine. No, I'm fine. I said, I get ovulation pain when I'm ovulating. And I said, and actually, yesterday I felt a little bit like funny on one side, but it wasn't severe, ectopic pregnancy pain. It was like, oh, I th I, if I wasn't pregnant or had, had been pregnant, I'd have said, I'm ovulating. She went, oh, right, okay. No, everything think that's fine. But as I say to you, you can get dressed now, but we've got to tell you now that someone will do your bloods and we recommend you come back Sunday. She said, but you can do this at home with a HCG because that's all we're testing. But, I, and she did say, I don't think you've got an ectopic, but obviously because we can't see a baby anywhere and you've done a pregnancy test that's positive, that's why we've got to put it. So cut a long story short, I just said, no, I'm happy that what I've passed is a miscarriage. I'm happy that you've looked in my womb lining and it looks all neat and tidy and thin. She just went, it looks thin and healthy. And then I was like, okay, I'm really sorry if I've wasted time. And she's like, you haven't wasted our time. You really haven't. I don't want you to feel like that, but you, we, you've you wasted your time, really. That's how we feel because it was, a, you know, it would be very, very early. But I did come out and I said to Kate, the thing, and she gave me a little card. She didn't give me a leaflet. She gave me a card of, she said, if you have any severe fever, pains on one side, you faint, you feel faint, dizzy, anything like that, you need to go to A&E and you know, give them and say to them that you have had a positive pregnancy test and an unknown pregnancy in a positive, in an unknown place. And I just said, yes, thank you. Because I did say I've had seven pregnancies now, five babies. So I'm pretty confident that I've had a miscarriage. But I did come out saying to my friend Kate, I've just come out of there. I knew I was having a miscarriage. I was 99.9999% but I just thought they would have been a bit like, yes, there's nothing on your tummy. Let's look inside. Oh, yeah, you have passed it. Oh, you've got a photo. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, that's the sort of thing you're looking for. Okay, well, we advise you maybe to have a period, get yourself better. Good luck with TTCing and blah, blah, blah. We do offer a blood test if you want extra confirmation. I just felt the bedside manner could have been a bit nicer. But she was a lovely looking lady, really warm and looked really nice. And the nurse was like busying herself. But I just thought... I felt like I was wasting their time, which was a bit sad because my midwife didn't feel like that. And 
I this morning was really super happy that I was going to get well not happy I was just relieved that I was going to know that I could go forward but anyway I just need to know hang on darling I've got to go now because it's my little baby's lunch but I just wondered have you been asked about your bowels well is that a routine question or and now I'm thinking did she see something but I open my bowels regularly and I've got no blood in my stools or pain I don't know Anyway, scan has come, I've miscarried, so I'm just going to have a relaxing weekend and I will do a video next week and let you know how I'm going. Symptoms have all gone now, apart from I've got slightly sore boobs, but that's it. Um, pads are medium flow. Thank you for following me. Please thumbs up to this and like my video and share it. And it's been a roller coaster, but I will TTC very soon, I reckon in about two weeks' time. Um, I'm just going to get that negative pregnancy test before I do, so it's all good. But thank you all so much for your support. I am flat, I am bummed, but my emotions, I'm not tearful anymore. I feel I can go forward and I feel I will get that little baby inside me this year and I'm going to think positive. And isn't it funny, I look back on all my tarot card things, my videos, if you haven't seen them, go back in December. She foresaw this happening. Weird. And in my videos really early on, when I was four or five weeks pregnant, I had quite a lot of symptoms and things, which I didn't have this time. So if you have subscribed to me, look at my old videos. They do, you know, if you're going through five, six weeks symptoms, I've got videos on here from when I was pregnant. They might help you out still if you're a little bit ahead of me. But I do plan to be pregnant soon, God willing. Thank you all. Mwah. Baby dust to you all. Please like and subscribe. And let me know if they've asked you that routine question or if you've had similar experiences. Thank you very much, ladies and guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.